Good morning, everybody, and Happy New Year. This morning, I'm over here in Davidson County, North Carolina. I'm gonna be taking you through a Heartland 3. Heartland 3 is 1,825 square foot. The standard plan starts you with a living room and a den and three bedrooms, and there are options to turn that secondary living space into a fourth bedroom or an office. Um, this Heartland 3 plan and all your Heartland plans um, are gonna consist of an optional slash site built front porch. What you're seeing here is a six by 20 gable style front porch, vertical siding up in that gable with a crow foot accent. Um, no foundation, no full foundation under this porch here. Wood finishes on the pickets and post. You can take these porches as far as you want to with the finishes, the size. Um, we'll talk about all the finishes up in the gable as far as the cedar shake options, the vertical siding options, um, the crow foot accent pieces up there up top. So um, we'll have a lot to discuss with the front porch on, um, on the Heartland plans. Only time that would really change is now I have the option, um, we're calling it the sweet tea or the uh, the T Ranch option that can be added to any Heartland plan. And what I mean by that is now I could take this exact Heartland plan and add a third unit or module on the front. Um, it's gonna give you that T Ranch look. And what changes about the porch there is when I add that third module into the front of the Heartland plans, add that sweet T option, um, it's gonna include a factory front porch. But other than that T Ranch, um, all the other ones would be an optional site porch, an optional site built porch. The beautiful blue siding. And then back here, they did a uh, really nice uh, screen porch and an uncovered deck that feeds into that screen porch. Probably a uh, 10 by 12, something like that, screen porch there. And then kind of a similar size on the, on the deck right here. Um, that is your utility room door. That door comes included in the plan. That right there is your optional door. So you can, they start you with windows there and you can option in the slider, the atrium, what you're seeing there, or the true, um, dual swing French door. So um, we'll talk about all that stuff, what you want coming off of those doors. Okay. I'm gonna do something a little different this morning. I'm gonna go in from the utility room here. So this is that utility room. Washer and dryer hook up there. Some uh, shelving there. Got an outlet for a freezer there, or you know, whatever type of appliance or tool you want to put there. Charge your vacuum cleaners and all that. All right, so here's that main space, that main living room. Really good sized living room. Again, this is the Heartland 3, 1,825 square foot. That is an optional front door with the Heartland series. They're gonna start you with a solid panel door on the front and the utility room, and you can option in the Craftsman styles. Um, here's that front porch, six by 20, six foot in depth, 20 foot across. The beautiful regatta blue siding complemented by the white lineals or picture frame molding. White gutters and downspouts kind of tie everything in. All right. This is what you're seeing when you walk through the front door. Like I say, a really generous and large uh, living room here, which naturally opens up into that uh, really, really popular kitchen. 
Got the nice six foot island there. You are seeing the nine foot ceilings in today's walkthrough. These are the nine foot ceilings. We're gonna start you with eight and you can option in the nine if that's important to you. Here's that dining space, a really good sized dining space too. Every time I walk these plants, I'm kind of shot with the dining space. Here's that atrium door that I mentioned. So again, starts you with windows here. You can option in any type of door that we offer here. And then the question is, what do you want to do off that door? Obviously, this is that screen porch. Really nice screen porch. They'll use that a ton, I'm sure, which feeds into that deck. All right, so here's that floor plan. I know I've done quite a few of these videos and walkthroughs, but I always like to show you the floor plan. 1825 square foot. They also went with the optional bathroom here. Traditionally, they're gonna start you with a smaller shower and a linen closet. You can option in the four by six or the four by eight shower. This customer went with the four by six. And when you do that, you have the option to do an, uh, a water closet door here or just leave it open like this customer did. So keep that in mind. And then this secondary den is the spot that I can do the fourth bedroom or the office or you know just leave it as the uh, secondary den space there. Tons of cabinets. Got your nice little coffee bar area over there. Very popular piece of this kitchen. And then here is that pantry. Your water heater closet, nice and easy, easily accessible. Got your two panel interior doors there. I obviously I get a lot of questions about the appliances. Um, anybody who's selling you on that, the appliances are included. You need to make sure that um, you understand that just because something is included doesn't mean it's free. So even if I'm selling these appliances as quote unquote standard, I still show you the cost for, for them. Um, I don't know the situation. You may have just bought something. You may can get them cheaper somewhere else. You might like something other than stainless steel Whirlpool. So I would note that if you get them from me already shipped in the house, they're gonna be stainless steel Whirlpool. There's different fridge options that you've seen. There's gas range options, you know, all that good stuff. But um, I still itemize them out just so I, you can see the cost for them. And then I've talked to you multiple times about what happens here. So we start you with two standard range hoods at no cost here. You can option in the mounted microwave. You can do an appliance shelf in there for the microwave. You can do a microwave nook where you can easily pull the microwave in and out. Got his own little outlet in there that we show. Um, we show that in the, uh, the Sparta lot model. Um, but yeah, really, really nice open concept, spacious. You're seeing the luxury vinyl plank flooring throughout in this particular walkthrough, which is a big deal. Um, we start you with carpet in the bedrooms and you can option in the, uh, the LVP throughout. You're also seeing that um, attic access pull down. That's an option in all the uh, ranch plans. Back to that utility room. Here is that secondary den space. Really, really good size area here. So much room to, uh, you know, turn it into an office slash lounge area. Maybe a little few uh, pieces of uh, gym equipment in here, who knows, so. Um, you got bed two, bath two, and bedroom three here. Nine foot ceilings, luxury vinyl plank flooring throughout. If you notice, this customer did not option in the crown molding. So a lot of my plans start you with um, crown molding included. 
the Heartland leaves it as an option. That way, if it's not in, uh, if it's not important to you, you're not paying for it. So, um, again, kind of that same method of just because it's included doesn't mean it's free. Master bedroom here, master closet. And then this master bath, like I mentioned earlier, you, you're seeing the optional four by six shower. When I price the four by six or the four by eight shower, that will include the ceramic tile, the rain head coming out of the ceiling and the wand, which is there. They actually added an additional rain head, which you're seeing there. Or not rain head, just an additional um, traditional wall faucet. So when you do that, because like I said, Typically, we start you with a smaller shower and a linen closet. When you go to that larger shower, we still squeeze you in a linen cabinet here. Um, so you have that additional storage space, uh, the double drawer bank. I mean, it's a lot of cabinetry in here. Um, and I love that tile color there. That's really pretty. Um, but yeah, this is the four by six. Just an awesome shower. And then here is that uh, toilet area. Like I said, you can option in the um, a door here. Obviously, you don't have to. That's what you're seeing here. And I've always kind of liked this window over the toilet, which brings in that natural light. Uh, I think that just makes, makes really good sense. So, um, again, this is the Heartland 3. This is the one of the larger Heartland plans. Um, but they range anywhere from, from 13, 27 square feet all the way to well over 2,000 square feet. Um, again, it's just going to be um, really the most bang for your buck series that I offer. They do, um, you know, some things aren't included in this home that are included in others, but they're still an option. So if it's important to you, um, you know, you can option it in. So, and remember the, the aspect of that tea ranch or sweet tea option that I was talking about. So on this particular model, and it'll be a while before I can walk through one just because it's such a new option. Imagine taking another module, but let's say it's, you know, this big and slapping it on the front of this right here. So you're literally taking another module, slapping it on front, which can be a fourth bedroom, a master bedroom retreat, and then it's gonna have a factory built-in front porch. Um, whereas this one, in most of your plans on my website, consists of a site-built front porch. It is not, the porch isn't included in the base price. Um, so that's what you saw today site built porch you would see a cost for the porch if you went to the sweet tea option um, it's going to be built into the plan similar to the logan or spartan models okay thank you for your time guys happy new year if you have any questions please reach out to us the office number is 336-226-9066 ask to speak with me shields my email is shields, S-H-I-E-L-D-S, -E at N-C, custom, modulars with an S, dot com. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. If you found this video helpful in any way, um, please like at the bottom, press like at the bottom. And um, hope, to, hope to hear from you. Hopefully we can build you a house. And... Uh, Again, thanks for your time, guys. Take care.